Hi guys, and welcome to this video tutorial series where we make something else explode. Uh, in this series of tutorials, we're going to use Blueprint to create a really simple trip mine, like you can see here, which has a beam, and when we run across it, it turns red, explodes, and kills the player. So I hope you enjoy this series of video tutorials. Alright, so let's start off by just taking a look at the setup of the assets of this tutorial. Uh, there are two main things, actually three main things here. We've got the material, the mesh, and also the laser effect. So with the mesh, it's just a really rudimentary static mesh with a socket attached, which I've called a laser socket. If I look at laser socket, I've got X pointing straight up, because when we do the calculations for the trace and the end point for the laser effect, Easy to do the calculations based on X, so I've just rotated the socket to be facing in that direction. If we take a look at the material as well, I've got the material set up here with a uh, color parameter, a, a vector parameter, to set up the emissive color, because the mine's actually going to change from green uh, to red when it becomes active and armed. And finally, we've got the laser effect which is just the green beam. It's really hard to see in there, but the main thing is we've got this target set up to be a parameter as well. So we'll start off just by going to the trip mine and we'll create a new blueprint based off actor. Call my trip mine BP underscore two because I already have one. I'll delete the existing one. And the first thing we're gonna do are add our two components. So we have a static mesh component, which I'm going to call trip mine mesh. And we'll set that to be the trip mine mesh here. All the other properties here are fine. And we're also going to add a particle system component, which I'm going to call laser effect. And select the mine laser. Now you'll see that we have a look at this by default, the laser is actually pointing off in the direction along X here. I don't worry about that too much because in the construction script when we set that up, we're going to set the position of the laser to be where that socket is and then set the end point to be forward of that socket. So I'm going to compile those and then jump over into the construction script uh, to start setting that up. To start off with, we're actually going to grab the location and rotation of the socket. So I'm going to drag in trip mine mesh, drag off trip mine mesh, and we've got get socket location and get socket rotation. The name of the socket here, as we saw before, was laser socket. So I'll set that up in both of these. You could set that up to be a, a, um, a variable inside the blueprint, but for now we'll just stick with putting the name in manually there. And the next thing we want to do is set up the effect itself. Set the world location to be at the location of the socket. Then we'll compile that. And if we jump back over into the components view, then you can see the location has actually been set to that socket. Now obviously we don't have it oriented in the right direction, we don't have the target being set, but it's now been moved to the correct position. So the next step is to actually figure out where we want um, the laser to end. So off the get socket rotation, we're going to do a get axes and we're going to use X, as I said before, X is the forward direction. From that, we're going to do a simple multiplication. And this is going to be how far the beam actually travels before the end point. So if we drag off here and click on promote to variable, it's an easy way to be able to create a variable from a pin without having to do it manually over the left hand side here. I'm going to call that range. And if we compile the blueprint, we can set the default value down here, which I'm going to start off as 500. Off the multiplication, we'll just drag in an add vector plus vector, add this get socket location here. And the final thing we want to drag off is off get laser effect. We're going to do a set vector parameter for that target. And the parameter is going to be the result of this add. The parameter name is called target. And also connect that up to set world location to make sure it gets executed. Now if we compile and jump back into our components view, and the mistake I've made here is actually just not setting up the default value of the range. Go back and set that to 500, click on compile, and you can see now that the laser is being oriented correctly. 
endpoint being 500 up from the socket. And if we go ahead and add this trip mine into the world, so we drag the trip mine blueprint into the world, and you can see we've got our laser effect right there. And if we were to rotate this around, say 90 degrees, uh, then everything is aiming as it should. And that's all for the first part of this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I hope you watch the next part. Thanks.